Good day, everyone. So what are the best career choices for someone with a Gemini midheaven? And I got asked this question, and as you all know, I look at an entire natal chart to answer questions around career, and most questions, a lot of questions. And with a Gemini midheaven, probably you're also going to be a Virgo rising. And why would that be important? It's important because if you have a Gemini midheaven, first of all, your, your midheaven is uh, ruled by Mercury. And as a Virgo rising, your chart ruler is Mercury. So Mercury, Mercury plays a role. So you want to find out, well, where does my natal Mercury fall? What house? What sign is it in? Is it on an angle? Is it in the first house, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, so on and so forth? You want to find out where it is by house and sign. And you incorporate that in to the mix. But you look at Gemini Midheaven, the chart wants to be seen as a Gemini. The chart wants to be seen as someone Gemini-istic, I guess, is what I want to say. So what is Gemini? Gemini is an air sign. Gemini rules more than one. Gemini rules all forms, all forms of communications, all forms of writing, all forms of talking and listening and speaking and social media. <laughs> What you say on Facebook, how do you behave in a meeting? How do you give a presentation? Are you a teacher? Are you a lawyer? Are you a salesperson? These are all great choices for good communicators. Any career choice where you're communicating, using communication skills via virtually, via email, via Skype, via Facebook, via Instagram, via Pinterest, anything to do with being an orator, doing presentations, being a trainer, being a salesperson, speaking, any of that stuff is Gemini Midheaven. But Gemini also gets bored. So a lot of times Gemini Midheavens may go to work from 8 to 5, but after work they've got another gig going that they're working on. Or before they start work at 8, they've got another gig going because they could be bored. And Gemini rules our hands. So Gemini Midheaven people a lot of times need to be using their hands at work. What guys, we use our hands for so many things, right? I mean, papers, getting on the computer, working on cars, working on musical instruments, sewing, anything to you, anything to do with your hands, anything to do with writing, papers, speaking, talking, teaching. Gemini Midheaven careers this lifetime. Those are the energies of Gemini Midheaven. Now, if you add Virgo rising to your chart because you're a Virgo rising too you've got all this perfectionistic energy you have energy that wants to work and work and never enough work I got to do more work 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 being of service to others being physical is important to a Virgo rising our pets our health our everyday life perfectionisticness, cleanliness, being of service. So add all these energies when you ask a question as to what are good career choices for a Gemini midheaven because you really need to look at a lot of things. You look at the whole chart and you take it from there. Now, those of you who are Gemini midheavens, only you're going to know what you are drawn to, what you like to do. But just know this. You are very entertaining. You are very talented with your communications. And that means you have lots and lots of choices. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.